All the best games for kids have something spooky in them. Pokemon Red and Blue version have Lavender Town. Super Mario 64 has the deadly piano and the sometimes deadly eel. Super Mario Galaxy 2 has the creepy cliff figures. Ocarina of Time has Dead Hand. Animal Crossing has the aliens that appear on TV at exactly 3.33 a.m. Sonic the Hedgehog has the scary music that plays when you're underwater and running out of oxygen. Not to mention the hidden message in Sonic CD. The one that's not really meant to be scary in the original Japanese release. But then they decided to make their own music for the American version, and when they got to the boss music, they were like... It's perfect. Speaking of Japanese and American counterparts, did you see how they redid the box art for Princess Peach Showtime to make Peach more illumination-y? It's not a change I'm too concerned about. It is nice that they're trying to give Peach a bit more personality rather than just having her be the damsel in distress all the time, but the movie felt like it went a bit too far in the other direction. <laughs> The box art change reminds me of the way they were always changing the box art of Kirby games for years when localizing the games for Western audiences. They would always make Kirby angry. I guess they figured Japan likes things cute and colorful, while those in the West prefer things to be cool or tough. At least, that was the case in the 90s and early 2000s. Is it still that way? Let me know what you think. I'd like to show you something special. Still works! And hey, look at this! These are the only two Kirby games I still have physical copies of. Kirby's Dream Collection for the Nintendo Wii, the Special Edition, came with a celebration book. Look at this thing. It's got all the Kirby games. It's got a timeline of sorts, concept art, just all sorts of neat stuff. Look at all those waddle -dees. This was supposed to be a spooky Halloween themed video where I talk about all sorts of spooky stuff in games. But I honestly don't like a lot of horror games, and I can't think of that much spooky stuff in video games I play outside of the things I mentioned earlier in the video. I guess there are things like the Anglerfish and Outer Wilds, and if you want to count playfully spooky things, there's Halloween Town in Kingdom Hearts. One of my favorite Halloween memories from when I was a kid is this one year when my mom drove us around the neighborhood in her minivan for trick-or-treating, while my friend and I blasted the Kingdom Hearts Halloween Town battle theme on the car radio. Another fairly vivid memory I have of childhood Halloweens involves a creepy witch decoration that would slowly move back and forth and make this noise. <laughs> Spooky, isn't it? That witch cackling isn't too dissimilar from some of the backing vocals in Justin Timberlake's My Love. Do you have any vivid Halloween memories from your childhood? Maybe you had one of those rich neighbors that would give away entire full-size candy bars to trick-or-treaters. Or maybe you had another one that would give out weird homemade cookies which you thought was pretty thoughtful but also kind of weird and you weren't sure if you wanted to eat them because who knows what's in those things. And let's not forget the costumes. Here are some of my costumes over the years. I try to do a new costume every single year. I hope some of you are the same way. I've been Scott Pilgrim, Gaston, Sonic the Hedgehog, Eggman, Tino Tonatini from The Weekenders, just to name a few. I have more, but I'll save those for next year. I've never been a big fan of the creepier Halloween costumes, especially with the cheap rubber masks from the Halloween stores. You know, the smelly ones. That being said, I have one friend that really puts a lot of effort into his costumes, and although they're usually pretty creepy, I really admire and appreciate the work he puts into them. Hey, want to see some of my spooky Halloween-y Pokemon cards? This Houndstone is my most recent pickup. I also got this holographic Darkrai. I got this little Litwick, he's kind of spooky. I got these two cards specifically from the Halloween promotion that they did last year. 
going a little further back, I got this Amistar who's not really supposed to be creepy, but he sure looks kind of creepy. And then I got all of the original Ghastly Gengar line from the first set of Pokemon. These aren't Pokemon cards, but this is an Ichigo card from Bleach. He's kind of Halloween-y. And I showed you that Scott Pilgrim costume earlier. I got this Scott Pilgrim card that came with the collector's edition of the Switch video game. I probably had more spooky Pokemon cards at one point, but I recently sold the majority of my Pokemon cards in a garage sale for $50. Don't worry, I'm pretty sure I saved all the rare ones beforehand and put them in safekeeping. Maybe I'll show those off some other Tuesday. Check out this cool card binder my wife found at the thrift store. I don't have enough cards to fill it out yet, but there's just something cool about finding something like this at a thrift store. Normally when I go to the thrift store I expect to find boring stuff like clothes or old antiques or furniture that's been slightly gnawed on. This was one of those really good unspected finds. I guess I should get back to talking about video games. Remember that ghost girl from Pokemon X and Y? The one that shows up in Lemoy's city when you go to the building and take the elevator up to the second floor? She appears out of nowhere, skis past you, and then says, You're not the one. Don't listen to her. You are the one. Thanks for watching. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your soul, seal your doom tonight. Spooky, scary skeletons speak with such a screech. You'll shake and shudder in surprise when you hear these zombies shriek. We're so sorry, skeletons, you're so misunderstood. You only want to socialize, but I know. Cause spooky, scary skeletons shout startling, shrilly screams. They'll sleep on their sarcophagus and just won't leave you deep. Spirits supernatural are shy. Bags of bones seem so unsafe, it's semi-serious.